Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and this is our 11th video on React with Progressive App App. In the previous video, we learned that how we can install our PWA or Progressive Web App in our mobile application as a native mobile app, right? And uh, you can see that this is working fine. And this feature we achieved in the previous video, link is given in the description box if you just want to watch the previous video. In this video, we will see that how we can just uh, add this kind of banner when we open our website in a Chrome mobile browser like add to home right uh, now uh, if you don't, did not watch the previous video maybe you just uh, stunning that how we are able to achieve this thing here if we don't, did not have add to home screen option right uh, we actually achieve this by just click on the right top corner and add to home screen right we can also add the two application with the same thing right you can uh, see this so now let's remove both of all and now let's see how we can just achieve this thing in the chrome so that uh, uh, user can automatically notify that this is a progressive web app and it can be worked like a mobile application also right uh, but there is a problem like uh, this feature of uh, progressive web app only work with a secure domain here you can see that uh, this is basically a secure domain like https right hypertext transfer protocol as mean secure uh, we don't have for a moment now why we don't have a secure environment or a secure domain because secure domains are only available on a public domain like dot com dot in dot us and kind of things right but for now we don't have this thing so for that we can do one thing that uh, we can just make our uh, chrome and this uh, mobile emulator in the sync and we can tell to the Chrome that let's open the local host here and uh, Chrome will automatically understand that we are on a local host and this is a basically testing environment and provide this feature also, right? Let's see that how it's possible. First of all, we have to do some setting in the Chrome. So just open here your, uh, you can say that uh, dev tool, then go on these three dots. Let's uh, simply, move on the more tools then remote device click on the inspect device right uh, now you can see that there is some setting and you can also oh, just notice that android sdk something like this is also right but this is not enabled right moment whenever this will be enabled you will see a green dot here right first of all we have to just add here port number on which port we want to add so let's say we just want to add on 5000 Right? because our application is uh, our server is working on a 5000 port then we, you have to add here localhost only localhost will work because chrome can understand that if there is a localhost that means we are just testing the progressive web app otherwise it, it will only provide the progressive web app many features on a secure site right which is https as i told you so just add it or one more thing you can just also enable this porting and now you can see that this signal is green that means this is working fine and let's come back here and just try to run it whenever you will run it now you can see that uh, whenever we are just entering our site first time add to home screen pop-up is here right and we can just directly add it and here you can see that chrome is just installing something here right and uh, just add automatically now installing is finished and let's go to the home screen and you are able to find this thing and let's uh, test this app this is working fine or not so now you can just see that everything is working fine uh, yeah guys i know actually here i must have to provide a loader i will do it in the next video because uh, whenever use, uh, we are clicking on the user it will just take some time and we are thinking that there is something wrong for a moment right so we will this one also the second thing uh, as you know progressive web app actually work as a uh, mobile application also but do you know that progressive web app also work as an uh, chrome application as well as windows as well as ubuntu application also let me show you so just open our uh, server url which is this as you know we are just turning in this here right and you can see that we have an option here install create our application name right click on it and you can install it 
and now you will find a stunning thing that our application is actually uh, just close it here you can see that our application is working fine like uh, native application like here you can see that uh, this application and this application are pretty simple pretty similar right in opening things right yeah there is some problem like uh, we don't have the options to close these things they ha we have but they are actually not working because we our progressive web app is not properly working and not finished yet right but if you just want to close here you can close it from here also and uh, here you can see that this is actually installed in our ubuntu system also right and one more thing whenever you just open it on uh, application you will find that this is also installed in the chrome application right uh, let's see here right so how i can uninstall it so let's go on a remove from chrome whenever you will just remove it from here then you will see that this is also removed from here so as you know if you just want to uh, install it again then you can just come back here right oh, so my bad i have to go on a 500 port 5000 port and uh, yeah here this is the option right to install again whenever you installed it once and it, this is not asking to the install again option let's just refresh it uh, okay just uh, open again 500 port 5000 port and now it will just have signed to open this application in the app right here so that's all that how we can just add to home screen option if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care